yeah, when we found out, I like nearly cried with her. Like I was just really excited for her. So it was a nice moment and I'm, I'm just really excited for her because yeah, she's earned it every bit of the way. That's beautiful. I appreciate that. Um, so we talked to Walt after last game about this idea of intensity and focus amid shots not falling. I'm curious from your perspective, how you saw that change on Saturday and how you all can build on that going into tonight. Yeah, I mean, I thought that the thing that changed for us more than, or at least before the shots were falling was our defensive intensity. And I thought that um, allowed us to get better shots and to make shots because we were getting stops because we were locked in. And when we're locked in in that way defensively first, I think it changes the game for us offensively. It gives us more confidence. We're a bit looser. We're not so frustrated. So I think it started there for us. But certainly, you know, if we start the game with shots falling, yeah, I think you can see that that sort of bleeds into everything we do as well. But as we're going through the course of a game, if shots aren't falling, for me, it's the defensive um, focus. Great. Final one for me. Um, you've been Natasha's teammate for a while, um, but so far she's taken on a bit of a different role this year because she's been injured. What impact have you been able to see her make from the sidelines this year and how has she grown as a leader? Yeah, I mean, I think in particular, she probably takes some of the younger ones and, you know, like the posts. I know she's spoken to Mick and worked with Mick and stuff, but I think she just has timely comments. She sees what she sees. And when she feels like it's, um, you know, worth speaking to the group, she does. And I think that's super helpful because she isn't someone that speaks all of the time. When she speaks, you really listen. Um, so I think she's really taken on that role um, of just still being really engaged on the sideline in practices when she's there, all of that. And I think that that will be, really critical for when she does come back, obviously, um, for her as well as for the group. Thanks so much, Sammy, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Rafik Lewison. Hey, Sammy, what are, plans to guard, what are your plans to guard Arika Gawawawa later tonight as the last time you guys faced her, she poured in about like 24 points. Yeah, I mean, she's, I think she's, you know, averaging 20 plus. Um, so she's probably gonna, you know, at least, attempt to you know to score and, and she might still get that I think for us it's going to be about making it difficult hopefully it's not 24 points on you know 12 shots you want it to be on um you know a, a bit less efficient so if we can make it hard if we can make the looks tough not foul her um you know you live you can live with that it's more what are we going to do to disrupt everybody else as well and make it hard for everybody else we can't have Arike get 24 and other people get 15 and um th that kind of stuff so it's more about I think the difficulty and that's what we're going to focus on today making it really difficult for all of their players and tonight's basically a matchup between two teams that are nine and nine. How important do you think this match is going to be? Yeah, I mean, I think at this stage, all the games are incredibly important. There's a kind of a couple of teams that have separated and the rest are really right there um, with similar um, uh, wins and losses records. So I think they're all really important. Certainly going to the break, it's really important to create that momentum and just see if you can create a little bit of a cushion. So yeah, it's, it's super important. You're also averaging close to three times your career high in rebounding. And I know that that's a big part of what this team's philosophy is, is the, the bigs, especially when you've had a kind of thin front court for a lot of the season. Uh, they try to do some of the dirty work and box out and then you guys can come and clean it up. But just how has that philosophy as a, a part of the game plan really helped you excel on the boards? Yeah, I mean, it's something that overseas, you know, I usually, um, I actually normally kind of average around this for rebounding. So it's not different for me. Again, I think it is more about the emphasis. Like you said, we do have, whether we've been thin in that spot or um, it's just really hard to rebound or to, sorry, box out the bigs and then for the bigs to also get the rebound. Like that's almost impossible. You're trying to hold off Brittany Griner. You can't then expect to necessarily get the rebound. So it's sort of that, um, that mentality of like, that's their job, their jobs to hold it off. It's our job to go and get the ball. And I think all of the guards have really just taken a bit more ownership of that. Thanks so much. Good luck tonight. Thank you. Ryan Heyman. Uh, Sammy, what do, what do you think uh, Rashonda has brought to the team? Not, not just on court, but also kind of, an, a, you know, she's a positive person attitude wise leadership. And how did you guys react when, you know, she's, you know, sent away from the team there a couple of times. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, she was on hardship contracts, so it wasn't so much that she was sent away. She came in and did a tremendous job for us, though, every time. And um, we were always incredibly grateful for that. You know what you're going to get with her. Like you said, the off court stuff's amazing because it's really hard to come into a team when you don't know, you know, kind of schemes and all of those things, personality wise, all of those things to come in and be able to just bring positive energy, good vibes, like just get along with everybody is a massive um, reflection of her. And then on court, it's just, I think the word I always really think of when I think of her is toughness, like in every facet, whether it's rebounding, whether it's defense, whether it's offense. I mean, she catches everything we throw at her that's in her vicinity. Um, and she just brings a level of toughness that honestly, I think we were missing from top to bottom and it's really contagious. So it was really great to get her back. Um, obviously the whole, um, coming in and coming out is really difficult, but every time it was like she didn't skip a beat. So that's pretty um, special as well. Thank you. <laughs> Michael Grady. Hey, Sammy, what, what stood out from that first meeting uh, this season with Dallas that you'd like that the team really would like to duplicate in tonight's meeting? Um, well, for us, I thought one of the things, you know, that stood out, I think, in the second half was we cleaned up some things in the first half defensively. So we made some adjustments. I think we we didn't have the same intensity and focus in the first half. You know, I think Marina got off in the first half and had like 16 points and shot well. And I thought we did a better job um, in that second half. I, I think we did a better job of being more aggressive as well. So I think for us, it's just coming out and making sure we set the tone early. We can't, um, like we did, you know, again, we did it last game, but we can't continually come out, spot a team, however many points or whatever it is, and then just, you know, flip a switch at halftime. We have to come out ready to go. And hopefully the adjustments that we've made and the things that we focused on and watched in film and worked on, we can implement from the jump. Jeff Magliocetti. Good morning, Sammy. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, last Saturday's game was something that, it's very early to tell, but something that could really serve as a franchise turning point in the sense that big crowd on a holiday weekend with a former Liberty legend in the building and pieces of the future come in and play a huge role in a comeback victory. So how much in your opinion, do you think that win can, you know, change the course of this franchise in both the short and long term? And how do you keep your, and how do you keep your team from almost getting too big of an ego from that, from a win like that? Uh, um, I definitely don't think there's a concern of getting too big of an ego from that. I think if anything, um, I think we can get confidence in the fact that when we execute our stuff, we can be successful. And I just don't think we did that in the beginning. And obviously I think we showed tremendous fight, which is really good as well. We don't have that, you know, there's a no quit mentality all the way to the end. And we were very fortunate that game that, you know, DC was shorthanded too, and that we were able to come back in, but you're not going to be able to do that in like most games. So I don't, I don't think we've, I don't think there's any case of getting an ego from it. And in terms of um, it being like a, a franchise thing I, I don't really know in, in in the immediate future it's great to see people impact the game it's great to see pieces like a Mick and some of the other young ones um contribute it's great to see someone like Jazz have the game that she had where she really came in and changed it for us um I don't know if I'm answering your questions but that's sort of how I feel about it 